So where does a chert come from? So one of the ideas is that the oceans at that time, during the first half of Earth history, were what we call super saturated with respect to silica, which is what precipitates out to make these chert layers, these white bands. What a supersaturated means, it means there was so much of that material, of those chemical elements dissolved in the water, of silicon in particular, that it would fall out of solution, it would precipitate out of solution. Um, and that may have been a background sedimentation, a background process that was going on all the time in the oceans at that time, except for periods when large amounts of iron would enter this basin and overwhelm the chert, and when, when that large amounts of iron came in, then that iron would become oxidized and fall out as this rust-like iron oxide and, and overwhelm the background sedimentation of chert. That's one idea that's very common.